are one of my favorite stars. And of course, it's not a star. It's a binary system, Ceres star. What people know as a star called Ceres is actually two stars, Ceres A and Ceres B. Sirius also known as the dog star, or Sirius A is the brightest star in Earth's night sky. It means glowing light. Sirius means glowing light in Greek. Sirius is a star system and the brightest star in the Earth's night sky. With a visual apparent magnitude of minus 1.46, it is almost twice as bright as Canopus, the next brightest star. Of course, the space station outshines it. The system has the Bayer designation Alpha Canis Majoris. Uh, what the naked eye perceives as one single star, guys, is actually a binary star system. It consists of a white main sequence star of spectral type AO or A1. Look up the spectral types to understand. Termed Sirius A and a faint white dwarf companion spectral type DA2 called Sirius B. The distance separating Sirius A from Sirius B, its companion, varies from 8.2 and 31.5 astronomical units. So seeing it like this in slow motion, if I stack and overlay each and every photo of every paused shot or frame, I would get and come to see at one point the binary star system itself begin to appear. As we're seeing in slow motion here, we can see it appear. Um, either one star or two stars at times as we see it oscillating here. This is a big binary star system uh, about 31.5 astronomical units apart. Here in x-ray inversion we can see pretty well too the interior of it. Watch as it spirals around to give us an idea of its shape. That's all I'm trying to do is just try to show it in more of its natural form. Look at this. this is a beautiful so that binary star system ever so bright Sirius A and Sirius B and now we land back on to the moon the very edge there is an edge of the moon has areas that we do not see surface topography land it seems top north side north east side you could see it protruding there and only the bottom very bottom structures are the ones that people are seeing and behind it in the dark in this particular area goes up like a triangular shape it is also where the moon is shaped like an egg because the moon is said to be shaped like an egg egg shaped neutron stars are egg shaped because they turn and spiral so fast if one was to fling away and wind up beside the moon would it be called a moon so this is the edge of the moon mind-boggling not anymore nothing boggles my mind anymore we can see a very deliberately built flat edge of the moon many people talk about it a wall-like edge of the moon that's very elevated it's a surface and on top of it structuring well, remember Biancini Crater behind Sinus Iridum that I showed you guys that we had found the closer to the surface ground level structures. These have never been seen or shown by anyone on social media before, nor on any news media that I've seen on television before. And look at the surface structures, those black dots. Now we're going to see it in inversion. We're going to see it in x-ray and it will really show you how these structures are placed hiding. So are you, are you understanding, everyone, where these structures are? For us to be able to have zoomed in on Biancini Crater, the crater itself up there on top was so small. It would be impossible to see the structures, even less possible to see the flag, like some people are asking me if I can see. I mean, come on, guys, we've got to get in pretty close. This amazing, colorful surface shot of Plato Crater this is less than 100 miles from Plato Crater. It's all around Plato Crater, all these structures, and they're not seen because the line of light was there. When it is, we can see all the structures because the line of light brings definition to the surface. 
Seeing is believing, everyone. Seeing is believing. 